Hey friends, welcome. Uh, today we are going to discuss kinetics of uh, heterogeneous catalysis and it is also known as langmuir henselberg mechanism. Uh, so basically uh, this theory was uh, proposed or this theory was given together by langmuir and henselberg and hence it is known as uh, langmuir henselberg mechanism. We know that several gaseous reactions of industrial importance are taking place in gaseous state and over there solid state catalysts are used. So in case of heterogeneous catalyst, catalyst and the substrate or catalyst and the reactants they are in different phase and hence it is known as uh, heterogeneous catalysis and Langmuir and Henselwood for a gaseous reaction taking place on the surface of catalyst they suggested a following elementary step that is a few elementary steps are followed by every heterogeneous catalytic reaction and these are first step is the diffusion of first step is the diffusion of the reactant that is a reactant gas molecule if it is lying anywhere then it will come near the catalyst or uh, near the yes, near the solid catalyst then the second step involved is the adsorption of reactant so once the reactant comes near the catalyst then suppose this is the surface so this gaseous molecule will get absorbed on the surface of the catalyst the third step will be the chemical reaction chemical reaction taking place on the surface the fourth step would be the desorption of product and the fifth step is the diffusion of product from the surface so gaseous molecule from anywhere in the reaction it will first diffuse near the catalyst so suppose this is our catalyst surface then it will get adsorbed on the catalyst then the reaction will take place and then the desorption will take place and after that diffusion of the product will take place so these are the elementary steps which are included in the reaction and the rate of the chemical reaction is dependent or the rate of the chemical reaction is dependent on the rate of chemical reaction which is occurring on the surface that is how the reaction is taking place and depending on the chemical reaction of the surface the rate of any particular heterogeneous catalytic reaction is being determined. So basically as we are seeing that either unimolecular reactions are also possible and bimolecular reactions are also possible so both the types of catalysis or kinetics of unimolecular surface reaction is also possible and bimolecular surface reaction is also possible so in this particular lecture we will be discussing the kinetics of the surface or unimolecular surface reaction and in next lecture we will be discussing kinetics of bimolecular surface reaction so first we are going to discuss the kinetics of a unimolecular surface reaction now as we know that a unimolecular reaction will contain only a single reactant so suppose if we consider that A is our reactant and suppose S are the vacant sites on the surface so A is our reactant and S are our vacant sites then the mechanism can be represented as follows so suppose A so first as we have seen it is the adsorption so A plus these are the vacant sites and suppose we can write K1 is the rate so it will or our reactant will adsorb on the surface then as the next possible thing is i can write k minus 1 that is it will be desorption or it will dissolve it may dissolve so this is our adsorption this is our adsorption this is our desorption and the third possibility is that is our this complex as that is our adsorbed gas on the surface it will be converted into the product and this we can term it as decomposition okay so these are the elementary steps taking place wherein a unimolecular reaction is concerned that is our mo molecule a will be adsorbed on the surface or the second possibility is that the adsorbed molecule will be dissolved and the molecule adsorbed molecule may be or it may be converted into product by decomposition reaction now suppose if we consider that r is the rate of the reaction then according to the langmuir henselwood hypothesis this rate of the reaction is proportional to the fraction of the surface covered so this rate 
we all always know that rate will always be proportional to the amount of the surface that is covered that means ke, suppose uh, this is our surface so if more surface will be covered then obviously the rate of reaction will be more and if uh, if very less amount of surface will be covered if very less amount of surface will be covered then the reaction would be very slow so the rate r it is directly proportional to the amount of the surface covered so suppose if we write that theta is our fraction of the surface cover so theta is our fraction of surface cover in order to remove the proportionality sign we can write r is equal to k2 into theta okay now we will apply stirling's approximation to this particular reaction or stirling's approximation for the concentration as you know that stirling's approximation is generally applicable to any intermediate which is formed and over here the intermediate is as so according to stirling's approximation we can write rate r is equal to d as upon dt will be equal to first concentration of product and the rate is k1 so k1 into concentration of a into concentration of s minus k minus 1 into concentration of a s minus k2 into concentration of a s and that is equal to 0 so this is according to steady state approximation that is ssa this is according to steady state approximation now if we consider that cs is the total concentration of the active site on the surface so cs is the total concentration of active site as we have uh, as we have considered earlier that s is the amount of the vacant site now out of that s cs is the concentration of the active site because suppose on a catalytic surface suppose if we are having 100 empty sets so out of the 100 empty set all the 100 empty sets would not be active so for in order to quantify that or in order to quantify the vacant site we are considering that cs is the concentration of the active site on the surface and so the concentration of the total sites or the concentration of the vacant sites will be equal to the product of the amount of active site and the amount of the sites or the fraction of sites which is remaining uncovered and as we know that theta is the fraction of site so we can write 1 minus theta will be the amount of site which are remaining uncovered so 1 minus theta because if whole surface is covered then it will be total will be 1 so out of 1 minus theta so it will give us the amount of uncovered so the total concentration that is s is given by cs that is active site or the product of the uh, total concentration of the active site into the amount of the uncovered site so this will give us the uh, the concentration of s and uh, we can now rearrange this particular relationship rearrange this relationship and hence we can get uh, we will rearrange this relationship in the form of concentration of as so both these terms i can take on right hand side then concentration of as will come out common and then both these terms will be in division so my representation will be concentration of as will be equal to i will have k1 into a into s upon k minus 1 plus k2 so this is or this will be the concentration of the active center so this concentration of a into s is the amount of reactant a that is adsorbed on the surface s so uh, we, as we know that cs is the amount of the active sites and theta is the fraction of the surface covered so when we or the product of cs into theta will give us the concentration of as so concentration of as is nothing but it is equal to cs into theta so this is the concentration of the amount of the reactant that is adsorbed on the surface s okay now we will substitute 
this value in this particular representation as well as we will substitute the concentration of S in this particular expression. So when we substitute it, uh, we will have CS theta is equal to K1 into A into CS into 1 minus theta. So this concentration of S upon we will have K minus 1 plus K. Okay, so this will be the representation. Uh, we can rearrange this particular representation by taking this term on right hand side and both these terms will come on left hand side. So we will have CS into 1 minus theta upon CS theta is equal to K minus 1 plus K2 upon K1 into concentration of A. Okay, CS, CS will be cancelled out and we will have 1 minus theta upon theta and which can be further written as 1 upon theta minus 1 is equal to again it is equal to this particular term or let me write it so 1, mi 1 upon theta minus 1 is equal to k minus 1 plus k2 upon k1 into a now again we can take this minus 1 on right hand side and hence we will have plus 1 over here and further this will be multiplied or we will take common denominator and hence we will have 1 upon theta is equal to k minus 1 plus k2 plus 1 divided by k1 into concentration of a okay and further we want in terms of theta so our representation theta will be equal to k1 into a upon k minus 1 plus k2 plus 1 so this is the expression of the theta which is fraction of the surface covered and earlier we have seen that rate r is equal to k2 into theta so we have the value of theta now so in order to get the rate r we will substitute this value of theta in this particular representation so we will substitute the value of theta in this representation and hence we will have r is equal to k1 into k2 into concentration of a divided by k minus 1 plus k2 plus sorry this should be k1 into a so over here also we will have k1 into a so over here also we will have k1 into a so uh, this is the representation which represents the rate and this we can uh, rewrite it as 1 upon r is equal to 1 upon k2 plus k minus 1 plus k2 upon k1 into k2 into concentration of a so this we can write how we we are taking 1 upon r so this relation will be inverse so we will have k1 into a in the numerator and k1 k2 into a in the denominator so k1 into a will be cancelled out and we will have 1 upon k2 and rest k minus 1 plus k2 is as such and divided by k1 k2 into a now this equation is in the form of y is equal to mx plus c wherein when we plot a graph of 1 upon r versus 1 upon concentration of a we will get a straight line and whose intercept will be equal to 1 upon k2 and slope will be equal to this particular value that is k minus 1 plus k2 upon k1 into k2 okay and as we all know that we are using gas over here so as we all know that we are using gas over here over here concentration could be replaced by partial pressure pa because as we know that for gas we are measuring the quantity or we are measuring the concentration in terms of partial pressure and hence the representation will take the form r is equal to k1 into k2 into pa upon k minus 1 plus k2 plus k1 into pa where pa is the partial pressure of our reactant a clear so this equation will give the rate for unimolecular reaction and further as we see in case or in this particular representation uh, we will have few limiting cases the first case when we see or the first case is that when k2 is very very high or very very greater as compared to 
k minus one and k one. So when k two will be larger than k minus one plus k one into a. So when this k two is very very greater than this, then we can remove or we can neglect the both these terms. That is, we can neglect. This particular term and we can neglect this particular term. So when we neglect both these terms, our representation will be R is equal to k1 k2 into a divided by k2 and k2 k2 will be cancelled out and we will have k1 into a. So k1 into a. So hence we can say that rate is first order with respect to the Concentration. Okay, over here rate is first order with respect to the concentration. In second case, when we write it, k two is very very smaller than k one into a plus k minus one. Then over here in this representation, we can neglect k two and we will have both these terms. So our representation R would be equal to k one k two into a. Divided by k1 into a plus k minus one, and further we can divide whole equation by k minus one. So this will be k minus one. This k minus one and this also would be divided by k minus one, and we can take capital K that is equal to k1 upon k minus one, and hence our representation will be. Capital K into K two into A divided by we will have capital K into A plus one. So this will be the representation, and this that is K one upon K minus or capital K is equal to K one upon K minus. This is known as adsorption equilibrium. Adsorption equilibrium constant. This is known as adsorption equilibrium constant, and further. This representation we can write it in the form of k two into k p a upon k p a plus one, where we know that p a are the partial pressures of the reactant. Now, depending upon the pressure, two situation arises. That first situation is at low pressure. At low pressure, we know that theta. Will almost be equal to zero, and when theta is equal to zero, we know that K P A will be very very less than one. So when K P K is very very less than one, then the denominator over here can be neglected, and hence R will be equal to K two into K into P A. So hence we can write it as, or hence we can say that both these terms are constant. So at very low pressure, the rate is First order with respect to the concentration of the reactant A. So it is first order with respect to the concentration of the reactant A. And the second case is when the pressure is very very high. So at when pressure is very very high, theta is almost equal to one, and hence we can write that K P A is very very greater than one. So under such case, we can omit. This one over here and K P A K P A will be cancelled out and we will be left only with uh, we will be left only with R K two. So hence at high pressure we can say that so this is the case when we have high pressure. So at high pressure we can say that the reaction is independent or the reaction is zero order with respect to it is zero order with respect to concentration of A. Okay, so hence, uh, with the help, uh, hence we can. Uh, so this is all about um, the kinetics of unimolecular reaction and some typical examples of unimolecular surface reactions are decomposition of N two O on gold, decomposition of N two O on gold, or ammonia on molybdenum and hydrogen iodide, that is H I, on. Platinum surface. So these are the some of the examples of unimolecular decomposition reaction. Hope the derivation and explanation was clear. Thank you very much.